Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the, uh, this is for May, uh, 2024. Uh, we are going to jump right in here and see, uh, what is going on for you. You have this persistence card. It says your persistence will pay off. Don't give up now. Foster a persistence mindset. Uh, stay focused and press on through. You have this justice card. It says make sure to be honest and ethical and money matters. I don't think that you wouldn't be, but um, you know, I think that it's just saying, you know, make sure, <laughs> right? And uh, I think you need to keep pushing forward, which is the uh, kind of the Taurus mantra. I think everybody thinks of uh, Capricorn when they think of like not giving up and, and sticking through things. But, you know, I think that sometimes Taurus has the staying power, right? You know, Taurus has the ability to like really stick with something, uh, maybe to a fault, but at the same time, it could also lead to a lot of success. So you have the uh, Nine of Swords, the Sun, and the Ace of Wands, uh, kind of like the tower, I've been seeing the sun quite a bit. And sorry, I just realized my microphone is not in the right spot. Um, so I've been seeing the sun a lot. And um, you know, I'm wondering if that May is just like a much better month. I think the summer is going to be um, just feel better for people for the most part anyway. So, you know, that doesn't really surprise me. Um, you know, I think people will start to notice a change in the energy as we get into the month of May where things just like feel different, feel better, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, you know, I kind of feel that's what's going on here. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords. It's kind of funny because I do look like this is a very good reading here, Taurus, but you have this right here. <laughs> you know, like the, the one fly in the ointment, right, is the Nine of Swords. And I feel like the Nine of Swords is kind of like saying, you know, it's that, that feeling of are things ever going to change? I think that's what the question that you're asking yourself. And the answer is yes, clearly, just based off this reading. I mean, if we go here, we go down to the star, you go down the sun here and the Ace of Wands, you go over to the King of Pentacles, feeling more like yourself. So that's like the feeling that I get off of the Nine of Swords is I feel like you're just wondering if you're ever going to feel better or different or, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think you're just wondering if, if, if your feelings are going to change. And the answer is yes. Uh, you have the sun, which is the best card in the tarot. You also have the star. The sun and the star together is like fame and fortune. As I always say, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to become famous, but uh, it's really good for getting attention. I believe we're in a time where everyone should be trying to get as much positive attention as they possibly can. Uh, you literally have the um, judgment card right above the star as well. Uh, so very kind of like an judgment is like answering the call, but judgment could also be communication, you putting things out into the universe so that you're communicating with like the world and getting attention. So anything you can do uh, to stand out is just gonna be extra beneficial right now. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is like a passionate new beginning. So there could be some sort of passionate new beginning or a spark uh, coming in for you. I would really pay attention to those like random sudden insights that you could be getting at this time. Like if you have a sudden idea or something that pops into your head kind of like out of nowhere, I would definitely pay attention to those ideas. I think that, um, you know, especially at this time, that's how Taurus could be getting their ideas, right? Like the good ideas could just come out of nowhere. They could just literally pop into your head. And those things, um, you know, whatever, and, and they could literally be ideas about anything, money, health, wellness, spirituality, whatever. And I would just like pay attention to your sudden insights, you know, those things that pop into your head when you're in the shower or when you're driving your car or whatever the case may be. Uh, I kind of feel like those could be like moments of genius. Like literally you have that and also judgment is very similar. Uh, you know, judgment can be like a moment, uh, you know, having a moment of like a genius idea that, you know, sets you free or, you know, brings you more money or whatever the case may be. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is like all the possibilities. I think that we need to give ourselves more possibilities right now. You know, this is a card of, you know, being spoiled for choice. A lot of people, but what I would say here is with the Nine of Swords, it could be, you know, um, kind of like analysis paralysis a little bit. Really, you know, technically the Seven of Pentacles is the card of analysis paralysis, but, you know, the Nine of Swords with the Seven of Cups could be having too many options. And, uh, you know, I feel like some of you just need to make a choice here. With the sun, you have the empress. Um, so lots of abundance. Your card, you show up twice right here. So whenever you show up in a reading as yourself, it really puts you in a position of power and strength and allows you to get what you want from the reading. So we see a lot of like strength and success coming in here uh, with these two cards. We also see a lot of abundance as well. Like whatever you're creating or whatever you're thinking about creating, uh, you know, I think that there could be like a lot of success in, in whatever, you know, in whatever it is. 
uh, with the, and, and, and by the way, uh, I want to spit this out as well, just like looking around here. I would also think like more simple. I wouldn't like try to think more, you know, I, I think like simple is the answer here, not being too complicated, not, you know, don't overcomplicate things, just keep it simple. Uh, with the ace of wands, eight, you, ace of wands, you have the eight of wands, which you have twice. Whenever we see a lot of uh, cards kind of like start with repeating, which I kind of feel like is going to happen in this reading, um, you know, we have these two right here. Uh, that kind of tells me that the universe is just saying I meant what I said. You know, it's uh, the eight of wands is quick conclusions, quick success. It could also be communication. And in this case here, I feel in your reading, it's really just saying, talking about like sudden insights that you could be receiving, um, you know, kind of like those flashes of insight, right? And, uh, you know, I think you need to pay attention to those things because mostly because in the area of the unexpected, you have this great fortune card. It says great fortune, good luck, triumph, uh, happiness, ease, reward, reward for your effort, fulfillment. You have this official person, it says person in uniform, dominant battle, official worker. Uh, I feel like you could be becoming an official person. So again, for some of you, you could be you know, taking the lead on projects or your ideas. Uh, you have this, you also have this Jupiter card, which says abundance. You just had your Jupiter Uranus conjunction in your sign. So, you know, there could be a lot of abundance uh, coming in for you here. Uh, you know, Jupiter is still in your sign. So, uh, you know, again, there could just be a lot of abundance coming in for you. And uh, I really like that. You could be getting the rewards of Jupiter. But again, I think that these like sudden insights, which would be Jupiter Uranus conjunction for sure, can bring sudden insights, could be the thing that leads to uh, good fortune. As I always say, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this, but you're gonna have to put the work in. You can't just like get an idea about uh, starting a business and then expect money to come in. And you know, what I would say here is that you're gonna have to put, you're gonna have to execute on the ideas or the sudden insights you're getting or nothing is gonna happen. Uh, you have the uh, Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Uh, two of Cups could be love. You could be attracting official, an official person as well. But this is like the only person we see other than the Page of Wands here. So the Two of Cups is meant to be like two people who are very different. So I always say that Two of Cups is um, kind of like a person who's different than your usual type. I think it was like back in like 2021 or something like that. I did love uh, the only love readings you'll find on this channel, right? And every single sign had the Two of Cups and it was like really weird. So I think that, you know, we could just be in a time, you know, maybe since like 2021, where uh, where we're just in a time where we could be attracting someone who is different than our usual type. So if you're looking for love, Definitely could be a solid connection coming in for you. Probably a fire sign. You always get fire with me and, you know, it could be fire or another earth sign, I would say, but it could be any sign, general reading, but you have that page of wands. So, you know, again, this page of wands definitely could be love. This could be someone that you meet like on an adventure as well. I'm getting you have this and you also have the chariot as well. So if you're like traveling uh, this month or like moving or, you know, um, you know, it, it, but it doesn't even have to be that. <laughs> if maybe you're like going to a different gym or maybe you're uh, going to a different store, which is one of my favorite examples, right? So it's like, whatever you do, you know, I feel like if you're like getting out of the house, let's put it that way, then uh, that could be where you meet a person. So I would definitely put yourself out there. I also feel like this could just be like the new adventure. We see this, that a sudden insight, you know, could lead to a new adventure where you're gonna be planting seeds. You know, Six of Pentacles is, is kind of like a card to me that is a signal for something new that you're investing your time, effort, and energy into. You know, Six of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds. So some of you, it looks like, you know, you could be starting something new. And the Six of Pentacles is kind of like that initial uh, stage where you're kind of like getting everything started. So if you are having a sudden insight at this time, like I'm shooting this video on the 21st of April, and so it'll be out on the 22nd. If you're watching this video in April, uh, then this could be that, um, you know, this could be that you are getting started now, like in April or, you know, right before May. You have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords can be heartbreak. I think that you're healing from something here because uh, you have the star right here. Uh, we also go this way uh, up to the Judgment card. I would be careful of anyone. You know, again, I'm not saying that someone's going to come back from the past, but what I would say is that definitely could represent that. So I would be careful if you do not want to deal with a person from the past. With the two of cups, you have the five of wands. Yes, I would be careful of dealing with someone from the past. What I would also say is if you want love and you're meeting a new person, then I would be open. You know, five of wands is like conflict and competition. And this kind of gives me the vibes that you could be meeting a new person and you could be thinking like, oh, this person's gonna 
bring a bunch of conflict into my life, but really they're not. So I would be careful of, you know, I would be careful of overcorrections. That's kind of what I'm getting with the five wands. It doesn't even have to be love, but you know, sometimes I feel with the five wands, we get hurt doing something, we overcorrect, and the overcorrection is just as harmful as undercorrection, right? So we need to like correct in balance is what I feel like that's saying. With the page of wands, we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, two of pentacles is like a choice and you know, it can represent uh, spinning plates, juggling energy, uh, doing too much, you know, work hard, play hard. But I do kind of feel that it's saying that, you know, I think that you have to make a decision to kind of uh, focus your energy into a sudden insight here. You know, even if that means that you have to change something like last minute here is what I'm getting, Taurus. Like maybe you have to make some last minute changes to some plans or something that you're doing. But I think that, um, you know, this is kind of proving to the universe that you can be flexible. And I also feel that any last minute changes that are that come from, you know, sudden insights are going to be like very profitable. You know, this could be literally profitable as in your finances, but it could also be energetically profitable or, you know, it could be profitable in your love life. And, you know, as far as love energy is concerned, but we have that Jupiter card there, which I'll show you in a second. So there you go. Yeah, if you have a person that stabbed you in the back, I would definitely be careful of that person right here with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. So, you know, I, again, I would be careful of anyone who's like stabbed you in the back in the past or, you know, anything that you see as dead done over with. I kind of feel this is saying like, don't go back, right? Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this Libra card that says balance, which is great. And you have this Jupiter card that says abundance on it. So there's clearly abundance coming in for you, but I think that you have to work for it. Six of Pentacles, right? So I think you have to do something. You, you know, this is like saying you're getting a sudden insight. You're going to have a genius idea this month and it could be whatever area of your life you want, right? But you have to be the one to plant the seeds, six of pentacles right here. You have to be a good Taurus and take care of your garden, right? Or your fields. You have to kind of like nurture whatever this is into existence. And if you do that, then you will be successful. So Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds in a direction. You know, as a card of equal give and take, it can represent someone who breadcrumbed you. Who cares? You know, like I don't talk about things that we already know about, right? <laughs> so uh, it cracks me up when people, you know, kind of are like, yeah, but that means breadcrumbing. I'm like, sure. I like, do you want me to sit here and just tell you what you already know? Or do you want to learn something new, right? But what I would say here is that it's like, yes, some past bozo maybe stabbed you in the back and breadcrumbed you. There you go. But also, on top of that, I think that you're uh, planting seeds in a new direction uh, and, and it's going to be like all based off of some sort of sudden insight. Uh, I like the Six of Pentacles as long as we pay attention. Again, I always say Six of Pentacles says pay attention to the good stuff, double down on the good stuff, get rid of the rest, right? And that's what I would do here. Uh, you have the Judgment card. Again, I kind of feel this is where that like sudden insight is coming from or you know, that sudden understanding that you could be having this month. So, you know, again, if you have any flashes of insight, any genius moments, I would pay attention to those things. These moments are definitely going to pull you away from something I feel, not like in a bad way. You know, I don't mean this like, oh, you're going to like lose your job or something like that. You know, but I, I do think that they are going to change your direction in life. So it's like you might have a sudden insight to, you know, change something in your job. It doesn't mean you're going to leave your job. You might be keeping the same job, but you are maybe going to change it in some way. And so I feel like there is like an upgrade here. You know, I always say with this card, these people are standing in their coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life and they need to like step into their new life. You have the star. The star can represent like blessings coming in for you. So I do feel that there could be blessings coming in for you. I also feel that there could be like happiness and more joy coming in for you. We see that here, uh, the sun and the star in the reading. Like I said, sun and the star can be fame and fortune. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be famous, but you know it can represent a lot of positive attention coming in for you. The star also would represent like a period of healing, so it wouldn't surprise me if you were it, with that Jupiter card as well. Um, that that you are are like literally healing. This could be your body or whatever. With the with the six of pentacles, you have the temperance card. Six of Pentacles and Temperance are about, I, I look at them as like cards of like wiggling something into place, right? It's like sometimes we, we work on something and we have to like iterate our way to success, meaning like the first thing we try doesn't necessarily work. We have to perfect something as we move along until we figure out like how to, how something is going to like fit into our life. And that's how I see this right here is that I feel like you're trying to figure out how something is going to really fit into your life. Like how can you make it more perfect, but it's like you can't, it, it can't start out perfect, right? And nothing starts out perfectly. So I think that if you're working on any big projects or businesses in life, that this right here, especially if it's a new sudden insight that you have, like I said, 
you know, I feel this is saying that you're going to be kind of like working this thing in into your life over time. So just understand that. With the judgment card, you have the fool. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to take a leap of faith on this. Again, I see this as a, a quick change. Like I'm not trying to be clickbaity here or anything, but I do feel that like whatever this ace of wands thing is, it's gonna be, you know, this could be something like a last minute change. Let's put it that way, right? Where it's like you have, you come up with this idea, but you're gonna have to make the change last minute or you're gonna have to, you know, do something last minute. And I, this isn't like like some sort of super stressful thing. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about either. I just think it's something where, there's not going to be a lot of time to plan. You're going to have to, you know, kind of like put things, you're going to have to wiggle things in as you move forward, right? Yeah, with the star, you have the two of cups, like I already said. More repeating cards right here. I told you that there would be a bunch of repeating cards in this reading. Uh, two of cups is a perfect match though. And it could be someone that you see as a star. It could be an Aquarius as well. Uh, it could be any sign general reading, but I do feel that this is like a perfect match if you want love. So uh, I like that. Uh, what I will say to all of you is that the Two of Cups really says that you are communicating with your higher self. So again, if you have one of those sudden insights, that sudden insight could actually be your higher self communicating with you. So I would listen. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this card that says you and your loved ones are safe. You also have this blue moon. It says believe in the impossible. Yeah, I think you need to believe that you can accomplish something like a sudden insight. Like this could be a very big idea, right? Could be something that is going to take a lot of work or effort. And I feel this is saying you need to believe that you can accomplish that this is, you know, accomplish this. And you need to believe that this is going to work out. Uh, I also feel like you need to like not worry about uh, maybe like family or maybe you're worried about family or the future or something like that. And I feel this is saying like, let go of your fears. You have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Eight of Wands. So you show up in a very strong position, especially in the good stuff. This puts you in a position of power and strength because the King of Pentacles is you. Uh, I feel like you really could be improving your financial security. So if you are working on your finances or you know trying to improve your finances, it looks to me like you are improving your finances here. Uh, you have the Chariot. Uh, the Chariot is a victory. So I do feel there could be some sort of big victory coming in for you with the chariot. and uh, But this is gonna come from like a change. Again, he is leaving the city behind and behind. Everybody gets a chariot. I've never seen it so much, just like the tower and the two of cups apparently, right? It's like, I notice all these repeating cards, but um, you know, across the readings and it's pretty like interesting to me at least. Um, but what I would say is that this is clearly a collective energy that we're all dealing with where like we're leaving something behind and we are, um, you know, maybe being encouraged to set ourselves apart. It's like, what makes you unique or special? Or, you know, what, like, what can you do on your own, right? <laughs> and it's almost like, I, I, I hesitate to say that the universe is making us more independent because I don't think that's what it is. I think really what it is, is the universe is making us independent from the old world. And it's like, we're stepping into a new world. So, you know, that's where, you know, it's like old, there are old world things that I think people are holding on to. And if we, that's what the universe is setting us free from. I hope that makes sense. But that's kind of what I get here with the chariot. You have the eight of wands. Eight of wands is quick success. So I do feel like there could be some sort of quick success clearly coming in for you. I also feel there could be good news. Eight of wands twice is like good news. Uh, with the king of pentacles, you have the knight of pentacles. A knight of pentacles is about getting started. I feel like you are going to be planting seeds. You know, in the good stuff, especially knight of pentacles to me would represent progress. And it would say that you are making a lot of progress, which I love. Uh, with the chariot, you have the knight of wands. Um, knight of wands is about adventure. And we kind of said that at the beginning of the reading, I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was talking about the page of wands. Like you, there is definitely something about you going on an adventure and like meeting a person that, especially if it's a fire sign, you know, this could be a big surprise as well, Taurus. Like maybe you're not even looking for love, but you know, it's like people love to tell me that they're not looking for love. But at the same time, like if you, if you meet a person that's good enough, I think you'll probably, it's, it's not like you're going to turn them away. Right. So, um, you know, again, for some of you, I feel even if you say you don't want it, maybe you do. With the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we have divine counterparts here, King and Queen of Pentacles. These are two people who really want to make things happen. Uh, you know, I like the King and Queen of Pentacles together. Uh, you know, to me, they're like two people who really want to work together, two people who, uh, you know, want to be successful together. So that looks really good to me, Taurus. You have this fair woman card says, dealing with relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. I always clarify these people cards. You have this mice card. It says discord among family or friends. I would be careful of anyone like, who's like stirring up drama or anything like that. Um, I don't think, like I always say, I, I think that people, like we don't have to be so dramatic, right? We don't have to like cut out family members or anything like that. But if someone's bringing the drama, maybe you avoid them this month or you just like spend less time with them, right? 
you have this caterpillar it says uh things will not always be this way a change is coming i think this is what people are worried about it's like have you ever been sick and you just like are like oh my god I, i'm always gonna feel like this <laughs> you know i think that's how everyone collectively feels right now like i feel like everyone feels like they have like the flu or something and they're just never gonna get better uh, but really the truth is is that we're just kind of like in caterpillar soup and we're about to turn into a butterfly so you know i wouldn't worry too much if you feel that way and you have this dagger it says fears worries tense situation again i feel this is the kind of like the mental worries or you know thinking that things are not going to work out you have this haystack it says karma you will reap what you have sown i do feel like there's good karma coming in for you and definitely a lot of abundance as well you have this torch it says uh, spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding i think you've done a lot of spiritual growth over the past like six months or so maybe, maybe longer like probably actually a couple years but um you know i think that your spiritual growth again two of cups is you and your higher self so this is why you're getting the sudden insight is because you've done the de the development uh work and that's what i see here but this looks really good taurus so uh happy birthday by the way thank you for being here and uh definitely enjoy your month